need some time At your own pace you need to find your way Today we are going to open my 90s Star Wars time capsule. Actually, it's more of a trunk, but I've been carrying this trunk around, moving it with me for nearly two decades, and it's been a long time since I've opened it up, and so I thought it'd be fun today that I do so on camera with you guys. Now I can't promise you that there's something totally amazing in there, something that's worth a lot of money, but I can promise you that there is a lot of Star Wars stuff in there. Who knows, maybe there's something in there that you haven't seen before, or maybe there's something in there that you haven't seen in a long time. I'm a 90s kid, raised in the 90s, that's where I discovered Star Wars. I was born in the 80s, I brought a lot of that with me, but again, 90s kid, Star Wars, and that was my life, that and Ghostbusters. All right, enough of that, let's open this trunk. There is much ahead, my friends. Pizza the Hut. I love that sticker. Oh wait, this helps. Ta-da! All right, just look there for a second. We're about to jump in. All right, that's better. First up, this poster. I know exactly what this is and where I got it. This poster was purchased at the Pizza Hut on State Road 9 in Greenfield, Indiana. I remember that because right after we left Pizza Hut, we went across the street and watched Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. It was part of those re-releases that George Lucas did in the 90s. And this was the promotional poster from good old Pizza Hut. And look, right there, Pizza Hut. On the back of the poster, they actually have the dialogue from the Death Star garbage room scene, the trash compactor. There are all the lines from the movie. The last line being Han Solo 326827, which was the code to let them out. So there's more stuff in here than I remember there being. So I'm going to lay it all out. We can kind of separate it and go through it that way. I've emptied the trunk and I sprawled it all out on the dock. Here we go. It looks like I also saved the cup from Pizza Hut that night. Check it out the Star Wars Trilogy Cup. Join the celebration back on the big screen and that is one of my favorite scenes there I think it's one of everyone's favorite scenes but Luke I am your father or no no let me rephrase that no I am your father no the power of the force figures from the 90s they were very popular and there's so many of them if you go into into any flea market in the United States, you're probably gonna find a bunch of these. I have all three of the deluxe sets right here. Luke Skywalker, Crowd Control Stormtrooper, and the Han Solo. Look at the sticker here. Does anyone remember Hill's Department Store? I've talked about it before in my vlogs. This tells me that this was purchased in Newcastle, Indiana. There's a picture on the back of the cardstock of all the deluxe sets. And over here, here's the Shadow of the Empire sets. And I believe I have all of those as well. And there you go, you got Leia, Chewbacca, Dash Rendar, Luke Skywalker, Prince Xizor, and I believe this was thrown there as well. However, I don't think they made a cardstock like that for Luke. If they did, I didn't know about it. And if you have one, please let me know. This is bringing back a lot of memories, guys. I haven't seen these in a while. Check out these keychains. Die cast metal keychain, Luke Skywalker. And then Darth Vader. Look at that. 
It's pretty cool. Here are some Star Wars handheld video games. I think the batteries are probably dead or not in there. Check out the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, definitely dead. This one is just kind of like a Game Boy. It's got a couple different cartridges. No batteries in it. I'll have to try to get these working. Look at this. There's a game there, Darth Vader's Revenge. And then I have another one right here, Princess Leia's Rescue. Then last of the video games, still in the package, is this Micro Games America Star Wars game. Look at that. MGA's LCD video game with Super Magna Screen. It's up to you to restore freedom to the galaxy by helping Princess Leia avoid the Empire's sinister agents. And then over here we have a couple of the premier Star Wars customizable card game introductionary two player. I actually have one that's open and one that's still sealed. Ooh, it's a mess. I always did that. I just threw stuff in a box when I was a kid. But it's kind of like Pokemon. But Star Wars, check that out. Or maybe more like Magic of the Gathering even. CZ Com Droid built by Servo Droid, outdated but still commonly in use. Built in Comleek. Here's the Rebel Trooper you see almost at the very beginning of Episode 4. Rebel Trooper, Karelian Corvette Trooper, Ensign Chad Hills. Hey, he's got a name. Does anyone remember the Scholastic Books newspaper? Or the, I believe they called it the Weekly Reader maybe? I don't know, but I just have this memory of getting this game from school from Scholastic. Check it out some sort of a map in here. It's the Del Rakin system. Del Rakin Caves, Steigen Jungle, Millennium Falcon site, the planet Thyphera. You don't hear about this one a lot. And the Poli system or Polis system. And here's the little mission guide to guide you through the game. Player cards. These are just the the rules. Here are the actual playing cards. And here's my actual official missions card. I don't remember doing this, but I actually wrote my name on the back. I hereby accept my mission. Yes. Oh man, I totally forgot about this awesome 3D Frisbee. Check this out. I used to throw this at my brother. <laughs> Look at that. It's pretty cool. Here's an awesome A-Wing. I think this is actually a, what was this? I think it's a, a time clock, I can't remember. Oh, it's just made noise, that's all it was. Put batteries in it, you hit the button for the sound effects. A good old A-wing. Whoops, these metallic cars, I remember these. I handled them a lot, because I, I really enjoyed them. But when I was a kid, Return of the Jedi, was my favorite Star Wars. I've, I've kind of changed though. I, I think my favorite of all time now is Empire Strikes Back, actually it is, and then Jedi. But I really did enjoy the story of Jedi. I think it was the whole in, indoor, and then Luke had the green lightsaber, which that's my favorite color, and all kinds of stuff. It's just a good movie. They're all, the original trilogy is just amazing. But as I've said before, I like all the Star Wars, and I really enjoyed the new ones as well and the prequels. All kinds of good cards in here. I wish these were in better shape, but like I said, I really, I'm just gonna pull them out here. There you go. Look at that. And they all have different stuff on the back. There's the Emperor. Star Wars Dark Empire, issue five, Emperor Reborn. They're, I think they're actually, um, comic book covers, that's what they are. You have probably been seeing these in the background. These aren't Star Wars, but I did collect a couple Johnny Lightning cars. GoldenEye, the Austin Martin, and I was a big KISS fan too. Huge KISS fan. I actually have all the toys of KISS too somewhere. But there's my Gene Simmons and my Paul Stanley cars. A Pepsi can rolling around there exploded. Can't tell if it exploded in there, if it was before. <laughs> it evaporated. Check that out, that came out in the 90s, definitely. Look at that old Pepsi can. Oh no, 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 no. 
got it. The force is strong with this one. Here's some old Star Wars books that I also got from school. Jedi Apprentice, Star Wars Missions, number one, Assault on Yevon 4. Star Wars Kids premiere issue, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. Meet Luke Skywalker. What's it like to be Luke? Mark Hamill tells Star Wars Kids. Oh, this is cool, actually. I'm gonna look forward to reading this. It's an interview with Mark Hamill. And check that out. There's Luke on Tatooine. All kinds of cool pictures in here. On our planet. What else is cool, it, it did deal with science. There's some brain teasers. Oh look, who is this alien? They have sand people and Jawas. Space science, all about galaxies. They were really good reads as a kid, and of course you have some comics in here. Here's one called The Rebel Thief. Does anyone remember these? These are awesome. And here's a couple more. Here, This one's on Han Solo and Chewbacca. Ask R2-D2 about the prequels. Look at that. Young Ewan McGregor there. Jake Lloyd. There's Natalie Portman. Yoda's puzzle page. What do you call Luke walking in his sleep? Luke sleepwalker. What does Chewbacca use for practical jokes? A Wookiee cushion. What do you get when you cross the astromech droid with the invisible man? An R2 see-through. Knock knock. Who's there? Wampa. Wampa who? One potato, two potato. Oh yeah, I guess he's a he's a potato. <laughs> that was a little cheesy or potatoey. Hope you guys are having fun. We just have a little bit more to cover. Check out these walkie-talkies. I remember my brother and I playing with these. They would only go a couple feet though. You couldn't go too far. Oh, look at that. I wonder if they still work. This Imperial Guard opens up and voila! It's the inside of the Death Star from Return of the Jedi. The Emperor is missing. I wish he was there, but he was in the chair here, just like in the movie. And then here's Vader. And Luke, even though this isn't Luke from Jedi, it's Luke from Empire, but there he is. And then there's the nuclear reactor that they blow up in the end. And I believe once you blew that up and you hit a button, there you go, bam! The Emperor would, I think he would pop off, I'm not sure, but that was a nuclear reactor right there that you hit. And I, this is a cool toy. I played, played this, with this a lot. Like I said, you probably have a lot more impressive Star Wars stuff than I did, but imagine how hard it was for a kid not to open this stuff. I still haven't opened it, and I really want to. I really want to play with it, but I might as well keep it. It's been, geez, it's 20 something years since I've had these, 25 years, 26. Cool to share it with you. Here's another look at the power of the force figures I have. I still need to get a lot more. I was hoping to one day go out and collect more of them. There, like I said, there's a lot at the flea markets. I did have the X-Wing and I'm not sure where that is today. I, I actually opened that. And I did have the land speeder too. I did I did play a lot with those. And then I had this lightsaber. I remember I had a a black karate gi and I used to dress up as Luke Skywalker and do a similar pose. I never had the Millennium Falcon, but I always wanted it. It's not too late though, maybe I'll find one. And then we have four of the 12 inch dolls collector series. Check out check this out. Toys R Us tag, another Toys R Us tag. I can pretty much tell you that's the Toys R Us on Washington Avenue, which is Highway 40 in East Indianapolis. Has to be, and then there's a KB toy sticker. But check them out. The Collector Series, there's Luke. Look at him. And then we've got Lando Calrissian, ooh. Look at that, I said ooh, because the box got moisture on it, dang it. And then, Darth Vader.
I tried. <laughs> and then last but not least, Han Solo. I always liked his blaster. He's got the best blaster. Then last but not least, this electronic talking bank. Ugh. With R2 and C3PO. And not working either. Darn it. Oh man. But look. Listen. Still got money in there. I managed to put money in there. That's some old money too. Talking bank. Star Wars. All right, so I made a mess. Now I gotta put it all back. Oh boy. This is like being a kid again. You gotta clean up your room. Star Wars 90s time capsule has been closed once again. Thanks for hanging with me guys. I hope you had fun checking out some of my old Star Wars toys. Hope it brought back some memories for you as well. I know some of you that watch these videos are a little older and remember the original Star Wars toys. Well, I do have a couple of those toys but I keep those somewhere else. I do have a lot more Star Wars stuff but that is a specific 90s time capsule that's from an era of my life that means a lot to me and I, I kept those separate but anyways again thank you for watching thank you for always being here especially right now i know the world is a mess and as i've said from the beginning since this whole thing started it will get better my friends it is so important that you stay positive and keep your head up and stay out of harm's way and know there's much ahead for all of us. Just make sure you love all around you. Make sure you're nice to everyone. Make sure everyone's okay. Check on them and be there for each other. I am Tampa J. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one out there. Be safe. Love you guys. Just like the lottery